Hello and welcome back to another episode of Project Supercar, the channel where I've built my own DIY supercar using an old Audi as a donor car. Now as you probably guessed by seeing the thumbnail, but I've finally broken the thousand subscriber barrier. thousand subscribers and thanks for everybody subscribing but look what I've got in the post it's to me from YouTube wonder what it is this is exciting oh look at this oh can't believe it thanks YouTube yeah I've got me thousand subscribers I'm gonna put this in a really special place Really proud of this. <laughs> okay, so I've managed to get over 1,000 subscribers on this channel, which is fantastic. And it actually means that I can now monetize this channel. Now, I've not tried to hide this fact from anyone, and if you've been following along from the very beginning, then you know that I do need the ad revenue to complete this project. I mean, who would have thought trying to build your own supercar would have cost some money? But it does. So I think what I'll just do is show you my plans and I think I might need Science Guy to show you a little graph. Hello, I'm Science Guy. And here's a graph. As you can see, this side here is subscribers, and this is time. So when I started this channel, I had no subscribers, and I've just broken the thousand subscriber mark. Brilliant. So now that I can monetize this channel, hopefully it can generate some money and I can start saving up to pay for the materials and the labour that is needed to finish this project. Now I've done the maths and it looks like if I can reach 50,000 subscribers with the equivalent views then the channel should generate just enough money to finish the prototype. If I can reach 100,000 subscribers then that should generate enough money so I can build the turbo project, the V6 twin turbo, new chassis, that sort of stuff. And anything over 100,000 subs, who knows? Maybe I could go over my Countach designer again. Maybe I could start that and maybe do the Evo Countach. But that would be very expensive. And maybe I can do other things with over 100,000 subs. Maybe, um, well, one thing I'd like to do is uh, travel the world a little bit. I'd like to take this car and I'd like to do Route 66. I think that would be fun. Um, there's a certain road in Italy that I want to do. If you've seen the Italian job, I want to do that one. And I wouldn't mind going to Germany and trying out those uh, autobahns, you know, max power run. Let's see what this thing can do. But all that sort of stuff is going to cost money and that's way into the future and this, in this moment in time I'm just trying to hit 50,000 subs so I can finish the prototype but there are a few problems so as you probably know the bodywork on this car are just plugs and the idea is to make moulds from these plugs and then turn the whole bodywork into fibreglass that will be the doors, the um, side skirts, the roof clams, that sort of thing. Now I'm on my own, I don't have any help and money's tight. But there's a thing that's a bit of a problem with the labour. Um, let me try and explain. Now here's the side blade for this car. Now the idea of this is removable from the car and it's used to, um, if, you, if you've got the NA version, normally aspirated, 
then it's designed to pull air into the engine bay, cool the engine down. If you've got a twin turbo, then the idea is just to put the um, intercoolers behind this blade. Now this is just the plug. As you can see, there's a whole load of steel work and framework. Okay, it's quite heavy. Now, this needs to be finished, so it needs to be properly sanded, completely sanded smooth, then some sort of paint put over the top of it, then a mould made, and then this would be then replicated out of fibreglass. Now, I've done fibreglassing before, and if you see my count ash videos, um, I'll put a little image here, okay? So I've done fibreglassing before. It's quite difficult on a large scale. Now, can I make this myself? Yeah, I think so. It's quite a small project. It shouldn't be too bad. However, however, there is a problem with pieces of this car that are a little bit larger than that side blade. Take this rear clam, for example. This is quite a large piece, and you can't make it out of one mould. So it's going to have to be a multi piece mould. Now, there's a problem with fiberglassing where there's a bit of a time limit. So, when you mix the resin, you've only got something like 20 minutes to use the resin and then it's no good. Now, if you're doing small pieces and it's DIY, not a problem. But when it's something this big and there's only one of me, that's when I have a bit of a problem. I'm going to need some help with this. Now when I started this project, my original idea was to um, work with a local body shop that could specialise in fibreglassing and uh, I would work with them to turn all these pieces into fibreglass and the idea would be that um, I would order future bodies from them as I sold this as a kit. So it would sort of be a business relationship. Now, whether I can still do that, I don't know. Um, I did have the money to do that a few years ago. Unfortunately, I had a bit of a problem. Um, you know, I don't want to really go into it too much, but unfortunately, that money's now gone. So that's the problem I've got with finishing the prototype. Now, I could go in a slightly different direction. Now, there is an issue with doing the fiberglassing on this car, and that's one of cost. Obviously this sort of job is going to need a large outlay of money at the very beginning. Um, and that's going to take some time to raise. And I haven't quite figured out that part yet. Um, and I need to get the fiberglassing done on this car so I can actually finish this chassis. It's not quite finished because there's some bridge work and all this stuff, it's, it's, it's a bit technical and I will go over this in future videos and it all makes sense. But this chassis is not quite finished yet and I, and I can't finish it until I finish some of the fiberglass. But anyway, to do the fiberglassing on this car, I am going to need some help and it is going to cost some money which I don't have at the moment. I'm hoping that ad revenue might help towards that. And I want to keep this project going. So there is another way that I might sort of go. I might start building the turbo chassis before I've even finished the prototype. It's not ideal, um, but it might be the only way to make more videos as I'm waiting for the ad revenue to come in and my subscribers to go up. Um, I don't know, I haven't quite figured that bit out yet. So it's a bit of a dilemma. I need the subscribers and obviously the ad revenue to pay for the completion of this prototype. Unfortunately, people are only really going to subscribe and watch my channel if I'm building the prototype. So I'm sort of stuck. Now, I just want to say right at the beginning, I don't need any ad revenue or anything like that to live off. It's not like I need it for, you know, to pay my bills or anything. That's not what I'm on about. I just need enough money just to pay for the materials. I mean, at a rough guess, on just the fiberglass alone, I would estimate you probably need about a thousand pounds worth of materials to make the moulds, and then another thousand pounds of fiberglass materials to make the bodywork, minimum. 
and that doesn't include any sort of labour or other consumables. Uh, consumables. So, I've got to get past that by trying to figure out the best way to raise the money. I mean, I probably need, I'll need a few more thousand more than that, you know, to finish this and to build the turbo chassis. I mean, all right, some of you might want to know a figure. How much does it cost to try and build your own supercar at home? You know, proper one. I'm talking, you know, electric windows, heating, you know, uh, a roof, you know, weather protection, that sort of thing. Um, you're looking at fifty thousand pounds. That's where you need to be. I mean, I've got probably about thirty grand so far into this, and I just need a little bit more to get it finished. So I've got a few hurdles that I've got to overcome to get this project finished. Now, I've still got to make a few more videos, and I've got to detail how I've made the roof, the clam, the doors, hinges, electric windows. So I've still got quite a few more videos like that to make. And obviously I've got to strip down the donor car, I've got to get out the uh, V6 twin turbo, I've got to take apart the rear, um, uh, rear suspension assembly, That's got to be, and of course I've got to chop out that front bulkhead and a few other bits and pieces from that donor car. So I've still got some time before I actually need any ad revenue to start the build. Now I know that some of you have probably subscribed because you're waiting for the build to begin. I'm waiting for the build to begin. I can't tell you what it's like to have this project almost finished and then unable to finish it. It's really frustrating. And I really want to get stuck into the turbo chassis because I'm, I'm coming up with all these new ideas and as I'm pulling parts off the um, Audi A6 donor car, the new one, I'm just coming up with so many different ideas that I want to do and I want to tweak this chassis so it's frustrating for me I, I just don't quite have the funds to do it at the moment but fingers crossed um, if my subscribers continue to go up and you lot watch this uh, stuff that I'm putting out this content then um, hopefully the ad revenue should be enough to finish this project so let's take a look let's see how much money I've made Oh dear, I've actually made more money on DTube. I think I've got about uh, $200 in Steam dollars on that channel. So um, at the moment, <laughs> DTube is doing better than YouTube. But never mind. So thanks for sticking with me. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for any likes and comments and everything like that. And I do enjoy chatting to all of you that makes a comment anyway. That's one of the reasons that I do this. It just keeps me going, you know, because if I think other people out there are interested in this project, then it makes me want to get up in the morning and do these videos for you. So anyway, thanks for bearing with me. Um, I've got a load of more videos to make throughout the spring and hopefully, fingers crossed, um, sometime in the summer, we might actually begin the build. Who knows? So anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.